morning everybody. I just thought I'd put a little quick video together just to give you an update as to where I've been and what I'm up to in the, in the coming weeks. I'm fully aware that I've not put a film out for a little while now and what this is intended as is a bit of an Instagram sort of Facebook story type thing and I know YouTube doesn't, uh, doesn't sort of um, allow that facility whether they do when you get over a certain number of subscribers I don't know but my intention is to delete this video after about three or four weeks because it's not really going to be relevant going forward in the future. So what have I been up to? Um, in the last three or four weeks I've been to Cornwall and the, the Cornwall trip was, was really a family holiday and I went with another couple, or should I say we went with another couple, and we had a really nice relaxing break. I did take all my photographic equipment with me uh, and the plan was to do some vlogs whilst I was there but it just never happened. The light uh, wasn't particularly fantastic. Um, we had some just some beautiful, don't get me wrong, some beautiful weather. It was we had some great clear blue skies and very hot um, conditions, typical for the for the type of for the time of year. Um, in terms of landscape photography, I didn't really get very lucky. I went out on three occasions, and I just briefly just tell you what happened. The first occasion was uh, intended as a bit of a workshop for Richard um, who we went on holiday with. Um, we went out on this particular night and we had some beautiful light. It was really the best night of the whole trip. Um, and I'll just quickly show you Richard's picture. Um, I set him up on this rock pool and uh, I loaned him some equipment and filters and just basically talked him through landscape photography. Let me just quickly put that picture on. So this is the shot that, um, that we, we, we decided upon when Richard and I um, went out to Travon. And it's got this beautiful lead-in, like an S-shaped curve that takes you through the scene. He had some beautiful light on this night and uh, some reflected um, clouds in the rock pool really made for a, a quality shot in my opinion. Um, the the S-curve and the leading line takes you through to the outcrop of land and you've got the setting sun off to the right hand side and it's all complemented by that lovely arc of cloud at the top of the frame. Um, Richard was, was pretty impressed by this, this image and uh, he was particularly impressed by the 60mm lens that really exaggerated that foreground. Um, at the end of the evening he went home to Rachel and uh, he, was, he was bragging to a large extent at just how much of a natural he was in landscape photography and to be fair that is a really nice shot and um, he's every reason to be proud of himself. A little bit of help from me but uh, nonetheless he was the one that took the image in the end, not me. My photograph on the other hand was uh, a bit of a disaster. The only other pool that was really open to us um, in terms of decent composition was this one. I do like the detail in the rocks and I still quite like the way that the, the rock pool is formed in terms of its composition. I like the two triangles of, of water going to the right hand side and the bottom left hand corner. And I think that pulls you to the setting sun in the distance. But what actually happened for me was the tide came in too quickly and it started to fill my pool up and I, I very, very quickly lost the shape of the pool so I had to pull back. So I spent the rest of the evening um, sat with Richard watching the sun go down and uh, being there with him as he, as he took the series of images to choose uh, the best one from at the end. So that was the end to that particular night. So on my second outing I met up with Tom Peters. Now Tom, if you don't know him, goes by the name of Photo Ninja. I'll put a link to his channel above and the shots that he took on the evening that we met up I'll put in the description below to his Instagram page. I'll put a, a link there for you to follow. We met up at a place called Tribar with Strand. Now, this is a location I'd never heard of and um, apparently it's quite popular with photographers. I didn't go with any pre-visualized ideas. I didn't do any research because I didn't want to be influenced by what others had done before. And I'm really glad that I didn't do that because I probably would have ended up taking the same shot. The light on this night was about as bad as you could possibly imagine. It was very, very flat, dull and overcast. Tom and I chatted about all things photography and YouTube and eventually we, we, we went our separate ways to take some images. Now I have to say I was feeling pretty uninspired and um, in the end I pulled back just to wait for him and I was stood on the shoreline when I noticed that Gull Rock which, which is situated about a kilometre um, off the shoreline there was looking quite nice with this lovely blue 
coloration that you get in the blue hour. So what I did was I started exploring compositions and I went for a squarish crop that you see here and I'll just put this on now. So this is the final image that I ended up with and I don't know, it just seems to work somehow. There's not much to it and Gull Rock is, is pretty much really central. But what I do like is that whitish band that you see just below the rock. And what that is, is the surf breaking uh, on the shoreline. And I also like that pinkish hue that you see running along the horizon line. What I actually used to get this image was a Case 0.6 neutral lens to graduated filter on the sky just to darken it and create a little bit more mood. And I also used a case neutral density uh, reverse filter over that central band just to hold back that brighter portion of the breaking waves. The reason that you can't see any, any um, sand in the foreground is because once the waves are, are broken on the shoreline, the, the, you then got the, this, this sort of thin layer of water that then washed up to the tripod legs. And that just helped to create that nice simple base to the image. I'm really chuffed with this image, I wasn't expecting it and it just goes to show that just because you've got flat, miserable light that, um, that you can't get good images and all it takes is just to get into that creative mindset and start thinking outside the box. So this was a really good end to the evening and it was certainly worthwhile going. Um, I really enjoyed meeting up with Tom, such a nice character and like I say, nip over to his channel and subscribe and show him some love, I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Now. The third night in my Cornwall trip was a bit of a disaster. I decided to go back to the location that Richard and I had shot. Uh, sorry, that Richard and I had shot earlier in the week. Um, when I got there, the tide was was really far out. It had turned completely, and the images are very, very heavily dependent on having the sea in that middle distance and, and going out into the into the far distance. Because the tide was so far out, what I was left with was a lot of untidy rock pools and rocks that were covered with kelp and various other seaweeds that made for a very untidy distant uh, and middle, middle part of the scene. So I pulled out, didn't shoot it at all and just left. So all in all, my Cornwall trip was, I wouldn't say it was a disaster, but it didn't go exactly to plan. But um, I certainly got a nice image when I was out with Tom. So very happy with what I've got. But, uh, but nothing for this channel, unfortunately. So moving on, um, I just want to talk about going forward. I had planned last night to go out to the Lake District and spend the evening um, up there shooting the evening light and then doing a dawn shoot this morning. But we got a lot of low cloud moving in overnight and I just decided it wasn't worth the trip. So this is why I'm putting this little film together now. Um, I did think about going out and shooting macro, but again, the time of year that we've got now, all the all the vegetation is looking quite tired, and we've we've lost all that lush green colours that we get in spring, and we've certainly not moved into that lovely golden colour that we get in autumn, which is due in the next two months or so. So one of the things that I usually do at this time of year is I shoot macro, but since I got the Pentax system in October last year, I found that I'm using my 35 mil gear less and less and yeah I could still get it out and I could still shoot with it but I don't know there's just I just don't feel like it and with that, that in mind I've now decided to sell um, this camera which is my Canon EOS 1DX I never thought I'd say it but yeah I think it's time to go um, it's been a fantastic camera it's only actually done about 30,000 shutter cycles so it's it's in very, very good condition for a camera of this type. These are the sort of things that press and sports photographers use. And uh, you'd be lucky to find one of these with less than 100,000 shutter cycles on it. So if anybody's interested or you know anybody that might be interested, um, this is now up for sale. It's going to be going on eBay in the next couple of weeks. And it comes with the L bracket. So the next, there's an extra 150 quid's worth um, sat right there. I'm not going to say a price. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to leave it that I'm open to offers at this stage. So, yeah, if anybody's interested, drop me a line. That's going to be up for sale pretty soon. Before I go, I have one last thing to just comment on, is that's, uh, and that's my workshops. I've still got a couple of dates left for the September and October Woodland workshops. Um, please get in touch if you're interested in those, uh, ask any questions. Um, you can purchase those through the website. You can also purchase the one-to-one -one sessions. 
and lastly the photography on demand is doing really really well that's where you can link in through Skype and we can have Skype sessions talking about photography talking about your images and processing and things like that um, they come in one hour two hour and three hour sessions you can buy all those online um, so I think that concludes this film um, again sorry for not being around much but hopefully this explains um, what I've been up to and um, and sort of makes up for my lack of presence on the video front but there will be new films coming out soon like I've said previously I'm more about quality over quantity I'm not really one for going out taking lots of images just for the sake of it I personally would rather wait for the great light which is why I didn't go out last night so yeah I'm going to leave it there and say leave some comments below if you think this video has been useful and it's nice to know where I've been um, subscribe as always and uh, ring the bell for those notifications so until next time I'll see you all soon bye for now